guys, how are you doing? How was your day, night, evening, whatever? This is Disabled Complexes, aka Kurohana, aka Lotus for my pony fans. Um, how y'all doing? This is a little segment that I'm going to start doing called J Rock Update. It's pretty much a couple stories that have happened recently in the J Rock and Visual K world, mainly based in Visual K, um, that I find interesting enough to share with you. Um, clearly, and obviously, there are a lot more things going on in the J-Rock Visual K world. But these are the ones that I chose. You clicked on my video, so you're going to deal with it, damn it. Alright, so, let's look at my list of things to, to, to read. Okay, so we have a couple things, um, little releases. They're all good news. Um, they're all, they're all fairly uh, good things going on. There's nothing, is there anything bad going on? No, there isn't. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I'm just going to go over a couple things. Let me pull up my thing. Put the things and the things and the things. Alright. So first off, I wanted to say congratulations to Saudi. Uh, they will be releasing a new album called The Black Diamonds on October 10th. Um, this is fairly new news and there isn't any update as far as what the track list is going to be. But I guess you could expect some of their previous singles on her, like like most albums, you know. Um, I don't expect anything too radical to go on with that. Um, if you don't know who Saudi is, um, they are a band that's been around for on a higher end of five years. And um, they are, unfortunately have been labeled as a Darren Gray copy, which I don't believe. Um, I know the vocalist Mal um, is a big fan of, um, you know, Kyo and likes Kyo a lot, and um, K, the drummer, um, looks a lot like Shinya. But I think those are just coincidences. Although they emulate Darren Gray um, a la Withering to Death and Vulgar, I don't think they imitate them in any way. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, Saudi is releasing a new album called The Black Diamonds on October 10th. That's pretty much the only information that I have found out as of right now. Um, on to the next story, one of my favorite bands going to Goya K on you right now. The band Lynch, um, who just released an album. Um, like, I, I... They are so awesome. Um, I definitely love I Believe in Me, but their newer album was amazing, and I loved every single bit of it. Um, anyway, on October 24th, they were releasing a new single called Lightning. Again, there isn't that much uh, details on it, except it's going to be released on October 24th, uh, there are two tracks, and the cost would be 1,050 yen. Um, I'm not good at conversions, but I believe that's like $10, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, that's one of the good things. Another release, Lightning. The single will be out October 24th. Uh, moving on to the next thing, uh, one of my favorite new bands, heavy bands, is Signal. If you don't know who Signal is, I, first of all, I highly suggest you check them out. They are absolutely amazing, um, but only on a condition that you like heavy stuff, because they dabble in the void that was left by Unstral and Dohi. Um I would consider them a mix of that. And on a side note, I believe that the vocalist is actually a illegitimate child of Kyo and Koki of Diao, because when he sings, he sounds exactly like Koki, and when he screams, it sounds exactly like Kill. I got in a fight over a couple people on YouTube because they think Kill was like this god, and I think that he actually has mastered Kill's technique pretty well, especially with his growls and shrieks. You know, I thought I was absolutely, I was very impressed. Um, shout out to the J Rock fan uh, for introducing me to him with uh, his review. I had no idea who they were until um you know until like he reviewed them on his channel. Um, so anyway, one of the more unfortunate things is that a couple months ago, their amazing drummer, Corey, left the band for reasons I really couldn't find out. Um, so they were a three-piece for a while. They went on like a small little hiatus, and um, they actually was able to acquire a new drummer. Uh, the drummer's name is Rachel. Um, he was in a couple small bands that don't even sound familiar to me at all, so I'm not even going to read them. Um... But he joined on August 9th, which is actually a really interesting day. It's Whitney Houston's birthday, it's my mom's birthday, it's Jasmine Yu's death, and now I'll count that as a good thing that Rachel, on August 9th, a couple of, like, a, like, a, like a couple weeks ago, 
at uh, this club called Nagoya L Size. Um, he joined as a support drummer. Now I've heard some information saying that he may be a official member now, but I am not sure, so I won't confirm that. Um, let me let me let me do a shout out. Uh, Otanja Biomadeto. I know I butchered that, but deal with it. Um, to Yagami Toll. If you don't know who, who Yagami Toll is, look him up. He is the awesome haired, epically awesome drummer of Buck Tick. If you don't know who Buck Tick is, just, just, no. Um, but yeah, Buck Tick is probably one of the most, I don't want to say well known, but they are well known. It's like, they've, they've been around for a while. More, almost 30 years now. I gotta see. I think they started in like the early 80s. You know, they've been around for a very long time. Um, not to mention they aged well. That's like just Japanese genes, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, Yagami Toll. Shout out to him. August 19th, he turned 50. He's 50. What? 50 years old and he's still rocking on the drums. Um, I know his he's, uh, his, his his brother, I believe. Let me look it up what his name is. Um, his brother is actually um, the bass player. Um, so if he's 50, I'm guessing that he's probably like 48, I guess. Gummy Toll. I believe um, it, should, it should be something like that. Yeah, um, he's the older brother of Yutake Higuchi. And he is 46. So, um, yeah. He's the younger brother. Um, anyway, yeah, they are in a very good band, and, like, I mean, these, these guys, if you don't know who Buck Tick is, just get, even if you don't like them, give them a listen, because they are up there with bands like Luna C, X Japan, um, Siam Shade, like, bands that, like, back, like, back in the, like, 90s, 2000s, they really held it down, and, unlike Siam Shade, unfortunately, although they had a re reunited, uh, Revival Live, uh, Bug Tick has been going on and on and on and on and on since, let's see, 1983? What? Ten years before I was born. See, my point. They've been around for a long time. So anyway, shout out to Yagami Toll. He's awesome. Um, another release that I wanted to go over real quick. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the band Angelo, but Angelo is actually... I like them, but I don't like them. I mean, they're a good band. It just depends on who you listen to about it. Um, but Angelo is a band that um, has been around for how long? How long have they been around forever? I know they caught, they got, um, one of the members is from Perot. I know another is from Despair. I think they got Zero from Despair, didn't they? I think. Uh, let's see. Let me just check it out real quick. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, I think one of the members is from Perel. I think they got another one from the Spirits Ray. I think they got another one from... Yeah, they got the one from the Spirits Ray. Isn't it... Isn't it Zero? No, is it... No. Okay, there's a Microhead Florence, and then there's... I don't know. Anyway, just inform me, because I'm not too strong on Angelo. Anyway, um, they're releasing a new album called Retina, two days after my birthday on November 14th. Um, I'm going to take this the chance to go check them out because I've heard a lot of good things about Angelo and I'm, you know, I'm excited for them. You know, um, bands like that that haven't been around that long, um, it's a little bit difficult the first couple releases on top of the fact that, you know, you see it all the time when you look at blogs and stuff, bands breaking up, like, immediately when they form. So, good luck to them and, yeah, if you haven't heard of Angelo, check them out because they are a fairly good band. Um, today is the 23rd of August, um, and coming up soon, on the 29th, the big release, Division, from the Gazette, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, honestly, I really didn't, I, I really couldn't stand the previews for Division, I hated them, uh, but after getting them a listen, and just like, listening to them through and through, it, it started to grow on me, and I actually do kind of enjoy, and I'm kind of excited for, uh, Division. I feel like Division is going to be the album that Toxic tried to be and failed miserably at. Um, so I'm totally excited now for Division, hoping that it'll, it'll rock my socks off. Um, so yeah, six days left. How do you feel? Are you excited? I know I'm excited. I'm excited. 
I know the J-Rock fan is excited. I know Skull Joke is excited. Are we all excited? I'm excited. Um, so yeah, there's that. Can't wait for a division. Six days left. Um, and the last little bit of news, actually wait. Yeah, it's the last bit of news that I just wanted to go over. Um, one of my favorite bands ever in J-Rock, uh, Doug, he broke up a little bit ago. And, um, you know, uh, I know that, uh, Augie is going to be the singer in a band called Garson. I haven't heard any information on them as far as releases or any kind of live shows or anything. Um, but that was a while ago. Um, I know that, uh, drummer Sujik is going to be doing some solo stuff. He's doing some collaborations with Leda. He's doing some corrobor- uh, corroborations. <laughs> collaborations with, um, Jury, uh, the vocalist. Um, and now, I don't know what's going on with Jury. I don't know what he's doing right now. I haven't heard anything on him. But as far as Leda is concerned, he is, uh, starting another band called Undivide. I don't know if he's getting back into Galnerus. I haven't heard anything about that, but if you have, you know, let me know. Um, but yeah, um, he is going to be uh, in a band called Undivide, and they're releasing their first album, self-titled, on um, on September 15th. Um, I'm very curious to what the sound is going to be like, if it's going to emulate Delahy or, um, or uh, you know, D.I.D. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm excited for it because... Anything that the delay he guys will do, I'm I'm going to be really excited for. It. But to be 100% honest, um, you know, Undivide, uh, it seems promising just because of like like the fact that Led is an, an amazing musician and guitarist. But I'm more curious. I'm more curious, I'll say, about Garson, maybe on the fact that uh, Garson is a band with like a bassist that I've never, I rarely heard speak save interviews, and all of a sudden he's going to be a singer. I haven't heard anything that radical since I, from Death Gaze, decided to be this, well, not, you know, I guess he's decided, I don't know what the motive was behind it, but when I, who was the basis of Death Gaze, suddenly became the vocalist, you know, you rarely hear anything about basses becoming, you know, the forefront of a band, but, um, anyway, um, that's what's up with that, uh, this is my J-Rock update, and I hope you all have a good J-Rock digital cake time, wherever you live at, um, so yeah, man. Thanks for listening. Um, hopefully I'll do a couple more in the future. So yeah, peace.